So according to the experts, I'm probably not eating enough. Whatever. <laughs> As far as my eating is concerned, I typically follow two eating patterns, either calorie counting or bariatric keto. So I'll make a video discussing both of those eating types, but the focus of this particular video is just how much I eat per day and how much I should be eating at different stages throughout my post-op transition. So what I do personally is I track almost everything. Um, I am an app-aholic. I have apps for every single thing and I put those apps to use. I also do a video where um, reviewing some of my favorite apps, uh, especially to help um, post-op or VSG or weight loss in general. But one of my favorites right now is my fitness pal. Everybody know my fitness pal has been around forever and I've had it forever. Um, but I've never used it consistently. As I've stated in previous videos, I struggle with consistency. So I rarely do anything consistently. <laughs> However, I have been consistently documenting my meals or how much um, or tracking my macros. And so depending upon um, the particular eating plan I'm following at that period, it would determine which area I'm focused on the most. Meaning if I am calorie counting, Quite naturally, that's where I'm paying attention or the most attention. But if I am following bariatric keto, I'm more so focused on my macros. So in the very beginning, I couldn't eat anything and that's normal. Um, and by not being able to eat anything, I mean literally one or two bites, I was stuffed. Like I would feel like I've eaten an entire Thanksgiving meal the whole damn turkey by myself um in the very beginning now i'm just a week shy of being 10 months post-op and on average i am about a thousand calories a day about what i've noticed is however um my meals usually always average between 250 and 300 calories. That's where I average per meal. And I try to eat um, two, sometimes three meals a day, or I'll do two meals and maybe three snacks. So for the most part, it's like maybe three times eating a day. Uh, I'm sorry, four times eating a day with two meals and two snacks. That's the, the norm for me, two meals, two snacks, normally. Some days I'm hungrier, other days I'm not. For example, yesterday, I don't even think I ate, let me check, oh, I don't even think I ate 800 calories yesterday, let me see. Yesterday, I ate, Oh, pal, oh, pal, says your girl is logged in 110 days in a row. Go me, go me, go me. I'm so lame. Uh, so yesterday, yeah, I said I didn't do uh, 800, but I didn't even do 700 yesterday. So yesterday I did about... <laughs> y'all can see that if not I'll probably have to put a screenshot or something in but yesterday I did 658 calories which is very low for me now um well Thursday was low as well I did 701 calories yesterday I'm sorry the day before but the day before that I did 1142 so that's why I say you know it 
fluctuates from time to time, but I try to stay no more than a thousand. Now, what I did was I tried to reassess where I am like in three month intervals. So me moving up to a thousand calories just recently happened at the beginning of um, month nine. I'm approaching month 10, but I changed my calorie allotment at month nine. At that point, I was at 800 calories and I noticed that I kept going over and I was getting closer to about a thousand a day I was eating around a thousand calories a day and so it dawned on me okay it's time for you to raise your limit again so anytime I raise my caloric limit I do it in increments of 200 calories because that would technically allow for one more small meal or one more protein shake, you know, something like that. One more protein shake a day, um, plus like a, a, a half of an ounce of pork rinds or something. The pork rinds I get are, um, I think, 80 calories at um, a full ounce, I believe. Let me double check the Hold on, because y'all know I got everything posted. Yeah, a serving size is a half of an ounce, which is 14 grams, and a full serving size is uh, 80 calories. I usually eat half of a half of a serving. So instead of 14 grams, I usually eat 7 grams at a time. Sometimes I'll eat um, 14, for, and that'll be like a snack. Um, and that'll be like a 80 calorie snack. So like I said, when I increase my calories, I typically do it in 200 um, calorie increments. So needless to say, um, around month three, I was maybe eating between three to, sorry, the air came on and it scared me. Um, between three and uh, 600 calories um, a day and then by month six I was probably um, between uh, four and 800 calories a day and then now you know month nine ten and definitely probably uh, up until maybe month 12 or a year out, I'll reassess again. But right now, eating about a thousand calories a day works for me. It, it works fine for me. Um, like I said, typically it's two meals and two snacks because I skip breakfast. So my first meal is usually lunch. And then um, a couple hours later, I or an hour or two later, I would have um, a snack and then um, probably an hour or so later I would have my dinner and then um, usually immediately following dinner I would have my last snack and then I start fasting for the rest of the night until you know um, the next day when I have my first meal so my last uh, two meals are pretty much really close together my dinner and my last snack slash dessert are usually back to back depending upon how full I am um, after dinner I may or may not have a final snack for the evening to but usually I do and it'll it'll be perfect it'll be okay I'm done I'm full even if it's before my typical uh, start of my fasting window I, I just know my body at this point I know when I've reached that point of okay I can't eat another thing tonight even if I wanted to you know um, so that's why I try to document everything is it to a T of course not and I don't want to be um, a, a zealot I don't want to be obsessive but I do do what I do now so that I am more aware or cognizant of my eating pattern and I can track what I'm doing a whole lot more regularly and so everything is dependent upon the individual so therefore for me being at approximately a thousand calories um, a week shy of 10 months some people might feel like oh girl you eating way too much and others might feel like you ain't eating enough you're not eating anything 
me personally, the opinions of either of those people don't matter to me. Um, I do what works for my body and you have to do what works for your body. Um, your doctor or nutritionist, if you did it, um, if you did your surgery the traditional route or in the States, of course they can offer you guidance and I've heard from many people who have had it done in the States that their uh, nutritionist wants them, you know, at like 1200 calories at six months out. There is absolutely no way I would have been able to do that. Like I said, I was struggling. I, I struggle now some days to get in 700 calories and I'm 10 months out. So I know in my earlier days that would have just been impossible for me. And one thing I do not like to do is force feed myself, especially now post-op. Like it feels so awful when I overeat. And yes, I have done it before. I, um, what you'll get from me is total transparency. I have nothing to hide. So yes, like I said, I'm, I'm not perfect, not aiming to be. I'm just trying to be a better me every day. And there has been times where I thought I could put in that dessert, that last little piece or that last bite of dinner and just overdid it. And ugh, the feeling of overeating now I used to overeat um pre-op all the time you know so that's why I don't consider myself like pre-op I wasn't a binger per se because the few times that I did overeat it would make me feel horrible now take that horrible and multiply it by 10 and that's how I feel after I overeat now so I really try not to do that so back to what I was saying, I wasn't a binger before. I would just ate far too frequently in far lower, large, larger portions than I should have um, with no um, energy to exercise whatsoever. So I just ate way too much and way too frequently, um, but I didn't really binge per se. Now though, I'm really careful because y'all, oof. I can't even describe how much it hurts to overeat. Like you feel flushed, you feel your skin feels really hard. I'm sure I'm experiencing dumping um, once I overeat now. And dumping is a horrible feeling. It's so horrible. You feel hot, you feel sweaty, you feel like you wanna puke, but you can't. Sometimes you just might, rare do I puke, but I'll, it'll back up in my throat. Like, oh y'all, oh. Oh, just the thought of overeating now just nah so make sure you pay attention to how much you're eating what you're eating um, because me and sugar I have to limit my sugar intake now so much um, to where if I'm gonna have like something with real sugar um, processed sugar maybe an eighth of a cupcake now maybe an eighth take the frosting off. <laughs> me and sugar don't really rock no more um if i eat sweets it's in extremely limited amounts i do much better with stevia or just unsweetened items or you know um yeah um yeah so anywho uh how much are you eating um now post op and where are you with your eating and if you had a traditional if you did it the traditional route and you do have a dietitian or a nutritionist or even your doctor how much do they say you should be eating um and are you following their advice I would love to know. I would love to hear from you. Um, so feel free to drop your comments below. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I will catch you next time. Bye.